know, second thoughts again, you know, still recording. I, I, I was about to leave, but I just remembered. Um, Coach Owidi here, welcome. I remember the time we became young disciples. I remember after we came for service, we, we'd evangelize. And even before the service began, we'd go out and reach out to people in kind, inviting them over for service activities. And our meetings were full of when we'd come together, you know, this question was asked to me, and, and how do I respond to this? It was a learning time. You know, this question was asked to me, how do I respond to it? What is the scriptures I need to use? It was simple, just a, a seeking for how to help people. You know, and, and, and I go back, you know, it reminded me of, of, of when the, the, the Jew came back to Jerusalem and they looked at the new temple and they were like, no, 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 no. The older people who had known how the old temple was, just started crying and like, no, this is not. It is nowhere close to the original temple that God had instituted. It was nowhere close. At times I feel like my discipleship, they are lost values that I used to have, that I've lost over time. When we meet together, I think a discussion is much more, you know, like what topic? you know, what biblical explanation, like exegesis. I'm not saying these things are bad, but we're too busy discussing football, discussing things that are equally of interest to us, but the question is how impactful have we been to our neighborhood? Have we allowed God, have I allowed God to glow in my neighborhood? The other day, in my neighborhood, you know, I was called. I just came from up country, and, and I was told uh, about by one of the Mamambogas that, listen, one of your neighbors here, a young girl, just hung herself and died. And, Pastor, please go reach out to them. And I'm like, oh, Lord. Then immediately, immediately, I, as I was planning to go, two days later, or a few days later, I'm told that even as well, the father was also just walking on the road, and the father was also hit by a car, and the father died. And I said, no. So I called my brother, you know, who lived on top of, uh, just uh, next to me. I called him, Brother Steve, let's go over and give this family a counseling, show them the word of God and pray. And I remember as we went over, we started singing and looked at the family was not familiar with gospel songs and so the young girl was uh, laughing but I said no we're going to sing and pray and, and, and offer them a gift you know just to, to seek a relationship with God and the best we did was just to pray for the whole house and as we were praying you'd feel just an evil wicked force within the house and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed until I felt like now there was a little bit of a release of course they were planning to go bury the daughter that girl the next day this is a girl who had just finished form 4 and they're still waiting for results but the pressure that was just around her was too much she ended up taking her, uh, taking her life and I pray that when they come back we'll reach out to that family again you know and then when they come back after burial then they'll take the father for burial next, I think next week as a plan. But as you realize, people are literally perishing. Our young people are going through so much turmoil, tr trauma, stress, and currently the suicide rate among the young people is no joke. They are dying, hanging themselves and dying. And, and But yet Christianity, the Christian values of seeking and saving the lost, that with the little knowledge that we have, instead of competing among ourselves, looking for who's greater than the other. You remember when Paul went to Athens and the Athenians were the knowledgeable people sitting around tables looking for knowledge, you know, the God of this land, you know, the God they do not know. And Paul come and tells them, no, there is a God who you do not know about and the God you speak about and that is Jesus Christ, the Father God, you know, and he preached to them the gospel. I desire to be urgent. I be desire to be urgent in my neighborhood. I desire that as Christians we turn the wheel around and to be urgent with our neighbors preaching the good news of Christ. For indeed, if there is no Christ, there's no hope. One of the lessons I learned as I learned as a mental health coach 
you know, I just got my certification today. Yeah, it was a good news to me. One of the lessons I learned that our lecturers, old, beautiful, wonderful lecturers taught us, was that you can teach an individual all the knowledge you have, but you do not give them Christ, you've wasted your time. You can teach an addict and help them in need to overcome an addiction, but if you've not given them Christ, you've wasted your life. Without Christ, they are nothing. They are nothing. Give someone knowledge, give someone a gift of life, but without Christ you've given them a no, no zero gift. And I pray that as a Christian movement, as a children of God, as a people who worship God, that we will go back indeed to examine our hearts. This is not about our church, what our leadership says. This is an individual decision to say that I'm going to examine my heart, to look deep into my heart, to see who can I help to know the good news of Jesus Christ. That neighbor of yours who's going through problems, that marriage around you that is going through problems, the only hope they have is solution is Jesus Christ. But you know what? Jesus says, come to me then he can send you. If we don't have a relationship with Jesus, we will not be able to pass it on to other people. It is already drizzling. But I felt like I need to record this for you and I. If we do not go back, because currently even Christians, we are not so different from those of the world. Christian marriages are struggling. Why? Because we have neglected the role that God has given us. Can you imagine me going out, evangelizing, then coming back to my house, to my wife, to share how the good news has been out there? We will not have. Jesus Christ says, do what I have sent you to do. I will take care of you. I will take care of your marriage. I will take care of your children. And I do believe with all my heart that as Christians, we need to go back, revitalize, have a new conviction, to need to believe that the only way to life, to good and true life for life, is walking with Jesus Christ. God bless you at Kosho I hope that this has convicted you and I to go out and help men, regardless of the denomination, regardless of the church we go to, that we will simply go out to preach the good news. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you at KochoWidi.org. Thank you.